Problem Finding, Problem Solving is the name of the class. And in short, it's aimed at teaching the students a, a process whereby they go about first identifying or framing or figuring out what the problem is and then uh, coming up with alternative solutions to that problem. So it, it draws from a variety of fields, creative problem solving, systems thinking, as well as critical thinking. Um, to say there's a shared or fundamental process that, that we can all engage in uh, to figure out problems and then come up with solutions to them. So that's the gist of the class. The way that the students are, are experimenting with and hopefully learning at least at a first pass uh, what this process is about is that each of uh, the study groups in the class has been given a company to work on and most of these are startup companies um, that Haas students have started and their objective is to go out and learn as much as they can about the company from public sources then go out and um, interview and observe customers of the organization or the company and then synthesize all that information together and then come up with things that they think are challenges that the company has that they might come up with alternative solutions to meet. And so what you saw them doing today was um, taking all the data that they've collected about the organization and putting it all together on what we call a business model canvas and using that canvas as a way to see uh, where the gaps are or where issues are with how the company is uh, put together. And then they'll present it um, to the CEOs uh, or senior management in most of these organizations. So the idea is that they'll be able to show the company or the organization, there are a couple nonprofits, they'll be able to show the organization what they think the company or organization is about now based on publicly available information, which is interesting in and of itself because what you can see publicly may not be what the founders or the CEOs or think the company is. Um, and then they'll show them three alternative models of what they think the organization should or could go do. So yes, and the CEOs will be there. It's meant to be quite informal, but the CEOs will be there to react to both what the students think the company is and to what they imagine it might be able to go do. Problem solving has been around f forever, um, and people have studied it actually theoretically forever. Um, it, it's played out in both um, sort of the creative problem solving literature, it's played out in quality management literature, it's played out in just generic how do people think about problems. So we're not claiming that there's anything new in what we're doing, but our experience is that, um, that I'll say people in general, but that MBA students are not exposed to a formal representation of how to think about um, how to think about problems. A lot of the education that students receive prior to coming to the MBA program is around solving problems. So if I'm an engineer, I'm given a problem that I'm asked to solve, and it's much less about framing the problem in the first place. And so. Part of being an innovative leader is being able to frame a problem uh, in interesting ways and to be able to see what that problem really is before you jump into solving it. So what we're trying to do is say, um, we think you probably have good tools for doing solving in many ways, but do you have good tools for understanding how to look at the problem in the first place? And that's a lot of what, um, that's a lot of what the class is about. What we're trying to do with the process is that we're hoping that, that this very brief introduction to the process that we're doing in problem finding, problem solving, will get used in the um, experiential project-based classes uh, that the students will take in their following semesters. So for example, international business development or social sector solutions, those classes have the students go out and really take on a big project. Um, in various different settings, and the objective is that they will use what they've learned in this class about how you understand and observe and synthesize and realize and, and experiment. They'll take those steps and they'll apply them to these bigger projects. And that by practicing this a number of times, they'll get good at, um, at this problem-finding, problem-solving process.